Okay, I recently asked you to write down your assumptions about me, so today I'm going to go through a bunch of them and let you know if you were correct or not. I think you don't want to make play button videos as much, but you are afraid or anxious of losing the recognition that comes with it. Okay, so it's not that I don't want to make play button videos as much, it's more that I want to make sure I do different kinds of videos in between the play button videos, so that the play button stuff doesn't just become too repetitive and get a bit boring, particularly now that it's been three years and I've done almost everything you could think of related to play buttons. So that's why recently I did the upside down house vlog and I'm really proud of that video. But going back to you saying, am I afraid or anxious of doing different videos? No, to be honest. If I'm being honest, I feel like I'm established enough that I can release a video and if it doesn't get loads of views and earn like loads of money, that's all right. As long as I'm proud of it, that's fine. And my general consensus is that eventually all of the videos end up doing well. Even if it takes like 12 months, YouTube will always find the right audience for my video, providing the video's good. Jack's the type of guy to sleep with his socks on. Oh, okay. Totally different kind of question, but I do not sleep with my socks on. I actually passionately dislike the feeling of socks in bed. And side note, I generally have just stopped wearing socks altogether at the minute because I've got this weird thing where they, they feel like they're constricted and the blood flow in my feet. If that's happened to anyone else, can you please reach out because I've Googled it and no one has an answer. <laughs> you actually miss living in Newcastle because of all the memories and you started your career there. Yeah, I miss Newcastle. I mean, I pretty much miss aspects of everywhere that I've ever lived and I think that's normal. It doesn't mean that I don't dislike where I live now, but I had a nice friend group in Newcastle and I don't feel like I've got that here. So I do miss the social aspects and I do miss like the convenience of living in the city too. But in the future, we'll be able to go back to that kind of thing. Very shy off camera yet very talkative with his community. Well, I'm obviously very talkative with my community, hence this video right now, but I would not say that I am very shy off camera, or at least anymore. There's definitely periods in my life where I felt very shy and very kind of insecure in myself, but I definitely feel more confident now. Basically, I, I feel like at this point I'm up for anything, but I'm just a bit nervous about it beforehand. And now that I've accepted that that is my routine, be nervous and then be alright when I'm actually doing the scary thing, I'm happy with that. You're the kind of person that will randomly think of an embarrassing moment 15 years ago and physically cringe at it and play out past arguments in your head and have much better comebacks than what you actually said. Surely almost everybody does this. But yeah, I would say at least once a day I think of like something that was embarrassing that's happened or something where I could have said anything else. But surely that's everybody. We all do that, right? The Geography Channel is the channel you have the most fun making videos on. No, that is not currently true, but it has been in the past. I basically just go through phases where for a few months I'm having a great time doing the Geography Channel and then if something big's going on on Jack Sucks at Life, that becomes my favourite channel again. But I'd say at the moment, Jack Sucks at Stuff's probably my favourite. I feel like I'm in a good routine of uploads with the super consistent Reddit videos, but then I've got these like fun videos in between where I'm messing about and they're still doing well even if they're not YouTube or play button related. So yeah, right now, Jack Sucks at Stuff wins. I feel like you are the kind of guy to pee sitting. You know what? Yes, I am. In my own home. I generally pee sitting down, okay? And that's fine. <laughs> I'm less likely to make any kind of mess. It's more relaxing because I just hate standing up generally. I can sit and scroll on my phone for a bit. So yeah, I mostly pee sitting down. If I'm out and about in like a public toilet though, I will just go to the urinal. I don't want to sit on like a seat that lots of people have sat on, but my own seat any day. Jack seems like the type of guy to have a planned out schedule every day and he sleeps at the same time every night. No, I wouldn't say that's true. My upload schedule right now is pretty consistent. Like, hang on, let me show you this. I have this little sticky note that has every video that I release and when, and I basically have it so that when I'm scheduling videos, I don't accidentally release two videos on different channels at the same time. But yeah, this is a really nice consistent schedule that I follow. However, in terms of actually filming those videos, I don't plan that in advance. I basically just wake up, get dressed, all that and then when I sit down to start working I just work out what I haven't yet done so other than the reddit videos which I always record on a Saturday everything else I upload is just recorded at a random day on a random time but the end result is a really nice consistent upload schedule and going to sleep at the same time every night no that varies too it just depends on what we're doing at the minute Becky and I sleep schedule varies from basically like 11 p.m. to 1.30. Just somewhere in between there. Jack's the type of guy to make up what his dogs are saying as if they are human and he's having a conversation with them. 
Becky and I are both very guilty of this one. Jack knows a lot of random facts and he brings them up whenever he possibly can. Yeah, I, I do that and sometimes I feel like it makes it me come across like I'm some kind of know-it-all. So I sometimes regret bringing up a random fact and I, I feel like most of the time people don't really like the random facts anyway. But maybe like... 49% of the time they do. I assume that you and Becky are married since you are with her for a whopping eight years of relationship. At some point, I assume you're married to her. Brilliantly written assumption there, thank you. Uh, no, Becky and I are not married because basically it makes no difference. Our long-term relationship is the same as a married couple's long-term relationship, but the only difference is we haven't signed some document that the government get. We've still lived together for like seven years. We still love each other, but we're both just not bothered about getting married at this point. In time, maybe in the future, but right now neither of us care. I feel like Jack has no idea what any of today's slang and stuff like that means, but he goes along with it to be less awkward. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think I go along with it, I just don't use slang that I don't understand, but yeah, there's lots of instances where I don't know what something says. I keep hearing people saying that's cap or no cap. I don't know what that means. Jack's probably pretty quiet off camera and awkward. Well, I reckon you could say that every single YouTuber is quieter off camera than on camera just because that is the nature of the profession. But I'm not that awkward. I'm a bit awkward. But that's fine. I don't mind being a bit awkward. I think that's endearing being a bit awkward. I'm less awkward than I used to be, and so we're going the right direction. You don't actually like making videos about play buttons, but you do them because it's what you're known for. No, that's definitely not true. It's always very exciting doing something that like no one's ever properly confirmed, like getting an emoji on a play button, getting a diamond play button early, getting an OG gold play button years after they were discontinued. Those are all epic things that I'm very proud that I've done, and I really enjoy doing them. So no, I love all of my play button videos. I'm trying to think as there ever been a time where I've not enjoyed making a play button video? No, there hasn't. There literally hasn't. And if I get another cool play button related video idea, I will do it, or I will try to do it at least. Jack cannot name more than five time zones. Oh, um, well, we've got BST, British Summertime. We've got GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, although they're kind of interchangeable depending on daylight savings. We've got Eastern Time, Pacific. I need one more. Um, oh no! <laughs> China Time? I don't know what it's called. All of China has one time zone. Atlantic? Is that one? <laughs> Turns out you're right. Okay, fair enough. I feel like Jack barely bumps into fans and it only happens when he goes to events. Do you know what? I don't get recognised that much, really. And I guess that's basically just because I don't live in a city, so there's just less people kicking about. And I don't often go to busy places where my demographic would be. I think I probably get recognised maybe once every two weeks, which is not often when you consider that I've got like 9 million subscribers combined. However, if I go to somewhere that's got the correct demographic, like an event or a theme park or something, that's when there's a lot more people that see me. But the most recent time I was recognised was like five days ago when I was in Asda, but they didn't say anything. They just stared at me while I was at the self-checkout. I assume Jack was either amazing at school or kind of mediocre, just passing on some subjects. Um, academically speaking, I was probably just slightly above average, but not massively above average. I ended school with A's and B's and I ended college with B's and C's and 1D. <clears throat> so yeah, I did good in school. I didn't do incredible, but I did good. I feel like you're beginning to care less and less about your active audience and your main purpose with your videos is to grow your channels through classic YouTuber techniques like shorts, bright colours in thumbnails and changing your channel profile pics to seem as jolly as possible to appeal to new viewers. I never understand comments like this. It's, it's such a cynical outlook because like, what is it you're expecting from me? Do you want me to make thumbnails that are dark and not eye-catching? Why would I do that. And I like making YouTube shorts because I've loved making videos for years and shorts are like a new video format so they're really cool to experiment with and it's it's nice seeing how much reach you can get. And I changed my profile pictures because I wear glasses now and my old profile pictures didn't have any glasses so I updated them to a picture of me smiling. But no, I want to grow my audience just like any YouTuber ever. <laughs> but of course I don't want to turn my back on my existing audience and I don't think I have done that. Jack seems like the kind of guy to like avocado. I love the taste of avocado, I really do. But sadly producing it is like quite bad for the environment so I've just cut down, I don't really eat it anymore. Sorry guys. When your channel slowed down like a year ago you started thinking about retirement. Not immediately but within maybe the next five years. But now you're on top of your game you aren't even considering that now. Did my channel slow down a year ago? I don't think so. Alright, here's the social blade. So obviously Jack sucks his stuff, getting more
more views than ever at the minute, but we go back a year and I was getting the same views that I'd gotten since 2021, just consistently. Yeah, I think overall my views and stuff haven't slowed down at all in the last three years, which is epic. But yeah, I have not thought about retirement. You imply that I could just retire tomorrow if I wanted to, but I, I do not have enough money for that. And I would imagine that for at least the next five years, I'll be able to just keep going with what I'm currently doing. I assume Jack knows his geography and is making mistakes on purpose. Definitely, that's that's correct. I uh, that yep, never yeah, okay. You don't actually need glasses and you just use them as a fashion accessory. Oh that's not true at all. Even though I'm more used to my face now with glasses than without. I feel like, yeah, I look a bit weird without them. But no, they are essential. Um if I don't wear them, I get headaches, and I would much rather not have glasses because I get eye strain, my eyes are bloodshot, just stuff looks a bit blurry and that's really annoying. So no, I definitely have glasses because I need them. I assume that Jack is going to reach 10 mil in the next couple of years with the growth that's been in the last couple of months. And if it continues on like this, it's not too much out of the ballpark, I'd say. I'd say you're probably right. It's kind of what I'm aiming for, 10 million in two years. For a long time, I just kind of accepted I would never get to 10 million subscribers. But over the last couple of years, there's just been a lot more potential. And I feel like, let's be honest, I need my own diamond play button, don't I? It would be criminal for Jack Sucks at Life to not have a diamond play button after my adventures with the diamond play button. So yeah, 10 million would be epic. Um, and I don't see why it shouldn't happen. Yeah, it should happen. I assume Jack isn't the type of person to get angry easily over trivial things. Yeah, I I'd say that's true. I'm generally pretty chilled out. You could argue on some occasions I'm too chilled out and it would be better for me to show more passion about stuff. But I definitely like everybody gotten angry about stuff, gotten stressed about stuff. It's just what it is. I'm assuming the Mini Minter collab won't happen. You'll have to ask Simon. He has a video that I was going to feature in totally prepared, but I think he's just busy with all of his other commitments that it's just on the back burner. So we'll just have to wait and see. But that doesn't mean that there's not something else that's maybe Mini Minter related round the corner, on the horizon, some may say. Jack is the type of guy that doesn't drink even at social events. I drink. I, I drink alcohol. Me saying it out loud makes it sound like I think that it's cool that I drink alcohol, but I'm just telling you that I sometimes drink alcohol. I'm not saying I drink tons, but on some occasions I've drank lots of alcohol. Sometimes I've drank no alcohol. Sometimes I drink some alcohol. I'm just an adult that drinks alcohol sometimes. You're the type of guy to notice small details in a movie and tell everyone about it. Yeah, that is true. I, I like spotting little details. I would agree with that one. I feel like Jack hates little, little kids. Yeah, they're, they're like the snotty ones. I hate the children that are young enough to just have snot all over their face and they just carry on like there's not a problem. I don't like snotty little, smelly little children. And I, I'd <laughs> Next assumption. Jack's a lovely bloke who everyone adores, but is a nerd at heart and doesn't leave the house for anything but filming or shopping. Hey, I leave the house. Me and Becky quite into our exercise at the moment. I'll show you the stats. There you go. That's me outside most days, walking or cycling, just having a nice time. But excluding that, yeah, I don't leave the house that much other than for shopping or filming a video. But Becky and I are a little bit tied down with our very elderly dogs at the moment, so when they eventually go, which will of course be very sad, we will definitely be doing a bit more traveling, a bit more adventuring. Apart from that, let's take a moment to appreciate the work of the people who make it possible for Jack to do what he likes. Without them, Jack wouldn't be able to run so many channels. Thanks Becky, Kai, Galvin, Arian, and George, and probably more. Yeah, you know what? The Jack Sucks Alive Empire has a bit of a team behind it at this point. Hence why I am no longer eligible for my own Guinness World Record, by the way. <laughs> but yes, to go through the team, we have Editor Becky, who edits all of the videos on Jack Sucks Alive, as well as some of the videos on Jack Sucks stuff, such as this one, some of the shorts on Jack Sucks stuff, and some of the shorts on Jack Sucks Alive, and the Jack Man's World channel, but we don't really do that anymore. And Kai edits most of the videos on Jack Sucks Geography, as well as a lot of the videos on Jack Sucks stuff, like the Reddit videos. He also does a lot of the shorts on Jack Sucks Geography, and some of the shorts on Jack Sucks stuff. Recently, I've been working with a new editing team, right? by a fella called Cooley, and they've been editing a lot of new shorts for Jack Sucks at Life and Jack Sucks at Stuff. Then there's Arian, who runs the Geography Stuff channel, where we re-edit Geography shorts from Jack Sucks at Geography, and then he uploads some of those re-edited Geography shorts onto Jack Sucks at Geography as well. Then we've got Galvin, who runs the No Context channel, so that's a No Context clip every single day. Then we've got George, who takes the shorts from Jack Sucks at Life, Jack Sucks at Stuff, and Jack Sucks at Geography, and then he releases them 
on TikTok once a day across two different accounts. But that's not it, because there's also a fella called Marvel who does all of the subtitles for Jack Sucks at Life videos and Jack Sucks at Geography videos. And then don't forget the Spanish team, Lycan Studios, which is a team of like five different people that are voice actors, editors, channel managers. So there's literally like 10 different people now. And that's why we're able to release so many videos. Because editing is so much work, it would just be impossible if I was still attempting to do it myself and the videos wouldn't be as good because I'm not as good an editor as everybody else is. But anyway, there you go. That's a little bit of a behind the scenes. Thank you very much for your assumptions. Next, I'll do a Q&A. So if you want to post any questions in the comments, maybe I'll respond to those in a future video. Thanks a lot and I'll see you later.